Hi, sixth graders. Really quickly, I'm going to talk about the rules for divisibility, and then we'll do some prime factorization. Both of these are kind of reviews. So the rules we have uh, for divisibility, if two goes into a number, it's all, it's even. So all even numbers, uh, besides zero, which is not even or odd, two will go into. So you can, that's an easy check for you. Three is a different kind of rule because um, like, I know that 111, 3 goes into 111 because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and 3 goes into 3. So what an interesting rule that is. Why it works, I don't know. Or a number like uh, 48, 4 plus 8 is 12, and 3 goes into 12, so 3 goes into there as well. What an interesting rule. Um, they're also asking us to do the rule of 5, which if it ends in 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. So that means 5 is a factor. Um, the rule of 6, if 2 and 3 are factors, then uh, 6, then, then 6 is a factor. And they want us to do 9 to 9 has the same situation as 3. Um, if you add a number together, like we know 18, is, 9 goes into 18, 1 plus 8 equals 9, so 9 is a factor of 18. What an interesting rule that is. So um, there are other rules, but those rules that, that I just gave you will get you pretty far. So let's go ahead and do some prime factorization. We'll use our divisibility rules. Um, to make sure that uh, when we do prime factorization, and we had done both of these before, prime factorization we used in our O factor tree. So let me just take a problem from the book. Uh, let's say, oh, here's a good one, 1485. So I want to know what it's divisible by. I already know because it ends in 5, it's going to be 5. So now let me take my calculator. Yeah, you get to use your calculator. 1485 divided by 5. And I know that I have 5 times 297 uh, left over. I can see that one of these numbers is prime. 5 is a prime number. 297 seems like a really scary number. How am I supposed to know if it what the factors of 297 are? Well, I add 2 plus 9 is 11, plus 7 is 18, and so I know that 9 is a factor of that number. So uh, I'm just going to take my calculator and say divided by 9 equals, and that gives me 33 left over. So are either of these numbers prime? The answer is no, they're not. So I'm going to divide them. Uh, 9 is 3 times 3. Both of those are prime. And 33 is 3 times 11. And both of those are prime. So I know that the prime factorization has got 3 times 3 times 3. It's got a 5 and 11. So for prime factorization, you write the numbers in order from smallest to biggest. So I have 3. And because it's 3 times 3 times 3, there's 3 of them. 3 to the third power times 1, 5 times 11. So this is the prime factorization for 1,485. All of this is in your book, plus I'll be there to help you all day long. I hope you enjoy these factor trees. It's kind of one of my favorite things. So I hope you have a great day.